I hear airports are going good for you recently. Oh, Mr. man. Mr. Godwin. Oh, I'm three for three. <laughs> Just smooth. I ain't three. got on a plane I ordered yet. Oh, we sat on the <laughs> runway the other day for an hour. Waiting for somebody to pull you up to the gate? No. No. So leave. Hmm. They said it's, it, we got a little uh, inclement weather. Inclement in, weather? Yeah. In, in Atlanta? In, in, no, in Dallas. So we sat on the tarmac out there. We'd already started going. The guy said, I'm sorry, this is the captain. We're going to park here for a few minutes. We're going to turn the engines off. <clears throat> you know, they got a little bad weather in Texas, so we're going we're gonna to sit here for a while. They'll let us I don't know. mind stuff like that. I do. Or the cows coming off. We need hey. a mechanic. <laughs> I don't want to fly. Wanna fly. Hey, I've been afraid that, that they that flew crap. through this mess. Why can't we do that? Huh? I'm willing. To, I'm willing to risk it. Risk get, it for the get biscuit. Get the baby huh? up. Yeah, get the baby yeah. up in the air, boy. Let's go to Texas. Oh man, I'm confused. Hey, if we're going to Texas, let's just go on and go. That's right. Let's go. That's what Gus said. Well, I hope, what's the holdup? Yeah. No, I had a, a mechanical malfunction, which I don't mind them delays, but. I had a quick connection in Atlanta, which we call the Hotel California, because you get in there, you might not get out. That's right. You may not leave, boys. You can check in, but you. But I had leave. a quick connection, so I broke a golden rule. I checked my carry-on. Uh oh. Because mm. I was, you know, I figured if there was a little trouble, then you got to wait on the valet to bring it to you, and you might might not make it. So oh, like, it, you don't make it, and it don't make it. <laughs> <laughs> don't ever check your carry-on. And then I got, I, I, I flew into Atlanta while I was just going to Columbus, which is an hour and a half away. And uh, so I, I got this, some kind of driving cert. What was that called? Groom. Groom. I got gobbled, yeah. picked up for 50 bucks at the Atlanta airport. So, Groom? Look, I get out the door, new, and, there, new and there, there he goes. He, Room. It's a shuttle. He's, oh, he's, oh, a shuttle. They drive you. Mm -hmm. I finally felt, because I'd never tried to get out of the Atlanta airport. I'd just gone to different gates. So I'm fig figuring out how to get out of that place. You don't want And I get out, and, and the thing's going that way. <laughs> Which way? I, I, that way. Okay. I left it. Away from me. Uh, yonder way. So yonder. so look at here. I'm I'm left again. <laughs> so then another pulls up about. 50 minutes later, and uh, it says Columbus on it. Boy, that was the prettiest sight I ever seen. But, and I would go up there. He said, what's your name? I said, John Goblin. He said, I ain't got you on my list. I said, well, I can't get on. He said, yeah, but just hold on a minute. So, but still no luggage. No luggage. Okay. And then me, so I picked Goblin up from that place, and then we go fishing. Well, Goblin gets on, I can tell the whole time. He's trying to fish. No, I, can't I mean, he's just mad, you know, just, and I get it. Like, that's an uneasy feeling, especially when you're a man like him, got got the CPAP deal going. Yeah. yeah. You know, you need that thing to go to sleep. So finally, he said, get I'll up here and breathing. drive this thing. And so I, I I got up there and got to fishing. He got on hold. Well, he, he had sat there about an hour on hold. And then he said, well, my phone just sent me an update. He said, my bag's coming. Should I hang up? I said, absolutely not. You done mm -hmm. been in it this long, son. Just ride it to the end. That's right. And he finally got somebody that was helpful. We yeah. got his bag. Very helpful. That woman was, yeah. Yeah. We we got Godwin's bag and everything. Got was my bag. Got it on hold. She gave me a little number to tell him. Then we went and got a steak with a handle. and yeah. Life was okay. Oh, kudos to Columbus, Georgia Airport. Them people that work in there. Y'all got it going on. They're yeah. very, very friendly. They I went in there. Money. It was a ghost town, and it was in between flights. And uh, even the car rental guys helped me, got me up there and to get somebody. And but there wasn't nobody up there. But he was. They, they was all very helpful. We finally called and the guy come out, got my bag, and boy, I went and I got me a steak with a handle. You got him the tomahawk, boys. Well, you better believe it. And everything got right. That's right. It's all working. I'm glad I don't fly anymore. Oh, it's miserable oh, right now. Oh, I left. That's I left here yesterday. I had to go pick Brittany up in Shreveport. Mm-hmm. She made know. it. Her bag didn't. Oh well. Oh no, she's, man, she's man. home now, so it don't oh, matter. Man, about Stone, and somebody else. Oh yeah, Philip. 
What's the deal? Flew in, okay. Stone run ahead to hold the plane, you know. So we got that. Yeah. You know, we're talking to Stones. And so, hey, they're telling us here the, the door's shut and you're backing out. He said, the door ain't shut and we ain't backing out. I said, hey, let me through where I can get on the plane to get home. No, you're they out. They said, no. nope. They said, back it out. Stone said, went you're too, a liar. Stone went too far down that jet bridge. If you're going to hold the plane, you got to stop right past the ticket counter. I've yeah. done it. Wait, Stone was on the plane and you weren't? Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's, you don't send yeah. him to hold it, apparently. Mm-mm. Stone right. will leave you. I uh-huh. figured they would just wait. I mean, I started, I'd already gone through the door and they said, hey, get back here. Where are you going? I said, I'm going to get on my plane. They called it. They're loading. She said, oh, honey, that's where I left it. I said, no, ma'am, it hadn't. I'm talking to a guy. He's on it. No, you're out. Oh, that's Then bad. we had to go and go to Shreveport, like you're talking about. Then Philip had What's to call up, Alicia. Uh, Alicia had uh, to drive to Shreveport to pick us up. And we get in like 4 a.m. in the morning. And Stone just waved. No. Yeah. Hey, From the not? window. No, he didn't wave. He was asleep. <laughs> that's right. No, he didn't wave. Hey. That's so that didn't work out. Moral of that story is don't send Stone to hold a plane. Mm-mm. Hey, if you got eight hours or less, drive. Especially right now. I agree with that yeah. sentiment right now. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It, it's terrible. It's Well, but let they, me tell you what you can't count on, a room. No. Just if like you going to stop and take a nap. It's just like Bethlehem. Room drive right? too, huh? They're out. There's no rooms? Oh, there's no rooms. No at room. There's no room in the inn. Anywhere. Man, I wish I had my old job. So I've got the yeah, question. No What's kidding. going on that all this is taking place? I can't figure it out. People have been let out of their house. Hattiesburg. It's time to leave, and there, there's still no planes. Yes, so. Everybody's excited. Hey, look. Are the you? best thing about flying right now, no mass. Yeah. No mass. Yeah, Lee, throw your mask away. Throw them away. God will that approve. Is, you can that is away. good to know because a person that's got breathing problems, last thing you know is they need to have on is a mask. Any type. Yeah. Then it you know, it don't make a difference. Hey, if you got breathing problems, last thing you want is something over your nose and mouth. Dude, every time I got through wearing a mask at the airport or wherever I got to, my beard looked like I stuck my finger in an electric socket. <laughs> that sucker's everywhere. He said it. Just so we're clear, I'm going to keep wearing mine because I ain't ever made it through airports so fast as when this mask deal started. <laughs> Don't nobody stop you. Anymore. Nobody knows you? Yeah. You get to you get from point A to point B because well, we didn't... always got a connection. We don't help. ever get that to go didn't no. help me. Well, no, because you're getting pushed around in a wheelchair. Everybody like looks it. at them. I don't like and that And Philip McMillan's right behind him with a huge Duck Commander shirt on. Yeah. <laughs> and you're having a private concert. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That's only on layovers. <laughs> <laughs> don't hey, don't look. Yeah. Hey, like, last thing you want to do is hey, have me over you on the layover, a long one. He'll start singing. Cause then I, I'll tell him, okay, you should, hand, hand me your hand me your earmuffs. And let me get yeah. some music. You I'm, should put a hat down and try and make. Yeah, money. but if I give you my earmuffs and play music, you're probably gonna sing. I said, hey, let's go. My earmuffs. Get, yeah, get the earmuffs over here, buddy. Don't worry about it if I'm going to give a concert. Got all that music coming out of it on yeah, both sides of the Well, let's pay for this show. Let's take a break. We'll be back right. after this. You got you to gotta break it, boys. You know what's uncomfortable is when you're an employee and you get you get tasked with roasting your boss. That's why yeah. I quit, so I could roast mm. him. But, I mean, the whole time I'm sitting there, I'm like, well, I'm going to get fired. I'm going to have to go see HR over this deal. Right. Like, right. If, if, if I tell the real stories, we're in trouble. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> like, bum, bum, bum. Yeah. Like, Actually, I could get fired from this podcast well, if so I did we that. Had the, the cool. So, yeah, that's what we did because I didn't want to have to go see our HR department. But if you are a small business and don't have an HR department, do we have something for you? Our friends over at Bambi are specifically designed with a small business in mind. They make it where you don't have to have an HR department. You can, it's an HR platform built for small businesses just like yours, so you can automate the most important HR practices and get your own dedicated HR manager. First, Bambi's HR Autopilot automates your core policies, workplace training, and employee feedback. Then your dedicated HR manager will help you navigate the more complex parts of HR and guide you to compliance available by phone, email, or real-time chat. An in-house HR manager can be seventy, eighty, ninety thousand dollars $90,000, or you can go with our friends over at Bambi, and just pay them by the month. Money saving deal there, baby. 
Absolutely way cheaper because it's only $99 a month. And, hey, you got to be budget conscious in the world we live in. You can cancel anytime, and there are no hidden fees, which is our favorite part about it. Bambi has received thousands of five-star reviews on Trustpilot, and their customers are four times less likely to have a claim filed against them. You run your business. Let Bambi run your HR. Go to Bambi.com slash duck right now for your free HR audit, spelled B-A-M-B-E-E dot com slash duck. Bambi.com slash duck. It is goofy. I'm so glad I'm not flying right now. I'm home for the next little while. Yeah. We're going into hunker down mode a little bit with with this new deal coming. And well, hey. Hunker yeah. down. Me and Stone are not hunker flying. Down. There's a new deal coming? Yeah, a pair of them. Um, <laughs> yeah, of them. a yeah. real deal here, buddy. <laughs> hmm. A and, pair uh, of real deals. But, no, it's aggravating, man. Like, you can't – I got my flight got canceled the other day for weather, and there wasn't a cloud in the sky. Between Ooh. here or Dallas, well, it was not, no, not one. And they just no, said, got not for weather. One. Yeah, and they no, said you've been canceled for one. weather. And I'm like, huh. So then I pull up the radar. I'm like, was that plane coming from this one thunderstorm out here in New Mexico? Like, yeah. <laughs> how in the world? <laughs> His windshield was wet. I mean, land. There, there, there ain't another one. Stop. Like, are you kidding me? There he is. I heard there was a shortage of pilots. So. Well, yeah, I think they found out the problem when you start mandating Americans to do things. I think they, they mm-hmm. found out an issue hmm. that, that folks don't like to be told what to do. Yeah, I guess. Give them the information and let them make their own decision. Yeah. That's like Hawaii. You can't laugh out loud over there. And what? You can't laugh out loud. Where? Why? You got to have to do aloha. Aloha. <laughs> I walked right into it. I didn't. I'm sorry. I didn't see it coming. <laughs> I mean, just walked straight. I was like, "Huh?" Just walked. <laughs> All right, that's a good one. Aloha. <laughs> uh, aloha. That was a fan. You can't. Ha, 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 on ha, ha. It's aloha. Facebook, one of my Facebook pages. <laughs> oh man, he that said, was a good. I had to do. I, I didn't know where that was going. That was. Shoom. Yeah, I was like wacky. Yeah. Key. Yeah. Yeah. Wahoo, well, like, say, what, what are we? You do laugh out loud I never even thought of the greeting. <laughs> I never oh, thought it was a joke was the yeah, saddest yeah, part. I was like, yeah, do they get upset? Yeah. I was worried I could never go to Hawaii. You thought it was a yeah. word. They're just doing ha <laughs> with a low voice. <laughs> oh. Get him out of here. Right, you you here I got you, I got you, you one from Goblin. Boys. He, he got me with this one the other day. We sitting at a red light when we was driving. To okay. Florida. At least I'm prepared this time. This is a joke. And he said, what'd you say? Do you know where they cooked the first donuts? Oh, yeah. Where did, where did they fry the first donuts? Hold on. Where did they Hold fry on. the first donut? Hold on. At Talladega. What? It's weird that you thought that, and I was thinking of Beth. That's <laughs> older than that. <laughs> but it, it's older than that? It's older than Dega, baby. <laughs> oh, it's older than Dega? Greece. Grease and grease. <laughs> got it. Hey, I we, got it. We were sitting at a red light looking at a Krispy Kreme and Goblin just pointed. He said, huh, you know where they fried the first donut? I was like, grease. I'm thinking I'm about to learn something. Yeah. Like, no, nah, yeah. man, where? Grease. In grease. But uh, <laughs> Unreal. Here I am trying to get a little more knowledge and Goblin just oh, still dropping okay. them dad yeah. jokes. That's how he's still dropping. I can't wait night. for the day you come walking in here and cut off blue jean shorts and white New Balance. Hey, That's what I'm man, waiting with on. a little grass right stain and New kick balance. your feet up right there and I just got, talk about you got to mow tomorrow because it's supposed to rain or something. Like I, I'm so ready. I got flipping flops on. I'm actually proud of you for wearing shoes. This thing are dangerous. Look how flat that foot is. Hey, them things are dangerous. You can shoot marbles on that foot. I'm so. telling you, that thing is so flat. They took the rest of his arch and put in St. Louis. I mean, it's unbelievable. There ain't a lick of it. Hey, that's where, the, that's where McDonald's got the curbs. Where? From the bottom of Godwin's yeah, foot? Yeah, from the bottom of Godwin's foot. Because he ain't curb. got it. Yeah, he ain't got no curbs. It ain't there, boys. <laughs> that sucker <laughs> flat-footed. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> he said that's I can't That's why he doesn't wear it. shoes. Yeah. Hey, that's why he's scared of ice. Because he's flat-footed? I'm scared yeah, of flat-footed. ice. Yeah, ice. Why am I scared of ice? He ain't because scared of ice. Foot. He's scared of cold water. Cold water. No, he don't like ice either. Getting to the cold water. To be fair, all ice is is cold water. Yeah. Really cold. Hey, and hard. hard. Really cold. Hard. It's done turn into cold water. What? 
But I'm telling you, oh, I thought water. Gobble, you know, oh, you always think water. everybody gets a little dramatic about their fears and whatever. And then we was working out that day at the gym and the hot water went out. And buddy, <laughs> I thought he was dead. Oh, I mean, you'd me. have thought it, it was like, locks up my muscles. He's gone. It I can see it in his eyes. Yeah. It does. It locks him up, boys. <laughs> locks him I don't know what it is. Oh, and then he man. starts making a low guttural. Oh, it was. It hurt. He's he laughing. It, and his little stubby arms couldn't reach the nozzle to turn the water off. Hey. He trying some, but he couldn't get there, and he wouldn't that go hurt. one step further. <laughs> I'm yeah. laughing down low because he's in Hawaii. It's in pain. It's painful. It's painful. Boy. I'd have made that joke his own. He's yeah. laughing down low because he's in Hawaii. Sai's going to say that. <laughs> okay. Sai's going to use that oh, in front no, of a very big going. crowd. Going. So nobody's going to get it because he's going to say he's laughing real low because he's in Hawaii. Everybody be like, Huh? Laugh real low. You can't laugh Hawaii. out loud in Hawaii. You can't laugh out loud. You got to do aloha. Aloha. Oh, aloha. Goodness ha. gracious. <laughs> mm. he's, a, he's a pro, I tell you. Yeah, I am. That was a well, I haven't watched the news lately. Is anything worth... Twitter got bought. Yeah, Twitter got bought. Are uh, you going to tweet more now? Uh, no. You want me to start you a Twitter? No. I think he has one. Oh, does he? Let me look. We should, don't know. If not, we should make him. Oh, I got all this, what, Facebook and Instagram. and you did? Yeah, we did all, all that this for junk. you. Okay, I don't, but I don't know what they're doing on Sci- it. Nothing anymore. Robin. Nothing so. anymore. Well, hey, there you go. No. The real, no, that's not. So, wait a minute. Someone bought Twitter. the outfit Twitter. Mm-hmm. It's an outfit. A man named Elon Musk. Musk? Mm-hmm. What, did he, what did he spend to buy it? About 50 billion. With a B. That was with a B. What for new? What is Twitter? Twitter anyway. You tweet on it. Uh, oh yeah, I got. I'm going to the bathroom. Well, this is what <laughs> a media type I'm deal. We go to the get it's, something. It's to like eat. Facebook. It's like Facebook, but it's just people complaining. Yeah. Mainly. Oh. Yeah, about him bunch, buying the bunch platform. of moaners, in other words. I it's put not a lot of fun. On there. It's really good. Twitter is good for like keeping up with sports. If you're really into, into sports, sport. yeah, NASCAR's on, and that. you need to know who got hurt or like what Catch their prognosis fans. is. It generally and especially starts, especially if you're a gambler. The orange, yeah. Okay. If you okay, so this is a right. good thing for gamblers to know all the odds that they're working against them. Yeah. Okay. All right. I get. But you. you know, Twitter went through that deal where they started kicking off people <laughs> for saying stuff. That happened. And Mr. Musk didn't appreciate that. Well, I, he I'm, says with him, that, I'm with him on that. He says that free speech, what did he say, yeah. is, I don't remember what term he used, but basically it's required for a democracy. Yeah. So he said, you know what? I'll buy it. Yeah. And well, hey, that government, he how bought it. Now, the crazy thing is, if you took $5 from every person in the world, you still couldn't pay what he paid. Think about that. Hmm. If you took a five dollar bill from, from every person person on this world, you world. still couldn't pay for it. You still could not pay for Twitter. <laughs> si, uh. si has so many Twitter accounts. I oh, wish no. you would have just picked one. <laughs> Good. <laughs> the, like literally, there's there's hundreds of Sai Robertson accounts. But ain't none of them got a blue check mark. No, nah, they ain't real. Oh, they ain't real. They ain't real, boy. If y'all see Sai on Twitter, don't worry. It ain't him. It's, it ain't you know, me. It's probably Big hey, Hair. I ain't me. Hey, like that remind me. I actually, we wrote a song. What? I don't tweet. I don't Twitter, and I don't cell phone. What? I don't tweet. Yeah. I don't Twitter, and I don't cell phone? Yeah. Huh. I don't know if that's exactly. That's probably I, not. That must be the close. remix, because I don't know yeah. how that one would no, flow. No, 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 no. It's close <laughs> to that. Okay, I don't tweet. I don't like whatever, you know. It's close to that? Yeah, it's close to that. It's called I'm a throwback man. The Book of Faces? Uh, no. The book. I never knew what Twitter was till Duck Dynasty happened. They said, yeah. y'all need to make a Twitter. And you can tell I didn't know what it was because my Twitter name oh, okay. is stupid. But I, Twitter I got, name is dumb? It's what? like at Friar. Well, that probably, that, well, that probably works out great. But you can't. If I change it, I lose all my other stuff. So I was like, I'll just okay, roll. So he just. Roll I don't use it anyway. He just rolled with it. They right. censor too many people, but not anymore because Elon's back in town, baby. They ain't censoring nobody. The boys are back in town. You know what's good about Elon? If he if he keeps to his deal, we ought to be able to get on there and talk about how much we love gas and diesel engines and hate electric cars. Yeah. Could you not do that? That's free speech. 
No, yeah. I'm just saying. I, like, I like everything. I do, too. I just don't want nothing electric. No. Other no. than my TV. That thing ain't close to being My depth finder, my trailer motor. Yeah, that's fine. I'm down. With, I don't want my big motor. I want my big motor. No. I'm fine with having an electric truck as soon as it's good as good as a gas truck. As soon as they yeah. figure out how to add voltage yeah. return. Yeah, but you it don't ain't have no to ever get that. It yeah. ain't no ever get that. Yeah. Well, you ain't going to be able to Maybe pull. one day, but it ain't gonna today. You ain't going to be able to pull nothing with it. Well, that's why I drive yeah, because the next thing an F-150 do, with gator flames going down the side. If you're saying they're going to get there with an electric truck, then the next thing they're going to do, you're going to have an electric plane. Well, I ain't getting okay. on there. And hey, you boys anything, out. anything dealing with batteries, the batteries go dead. I know. And, and here's guess a, what? An electric plane, your boy is out of. Can I tell you my experience with batteries? They won't even too. let you fly with lithium. <laughs> my yeah. weed eater's legit, yeah. though. That. But here's the deal. Like. Growing up, you got alkaline batteries. That's all we had. We never had any idea what lithium was. Well, alkaline, they start going low. You bang it a couple of times. Yeah, jump. That's right back working. Yeah. <laughs> that don't work with lithium. Once she's dead, she it's gone. Dead. She dead. It's, gone. Not, it's time to plug up and go again. Yeah. Like, yeah. you can't just, oh. you know, you can't hit it a couple of times, make your remote work for the next Float six and months. extension cords. Huh? Floating extension cords. That sounds floating dangerous. Extension cord. I'm so out Why on do you need a plane. floating extension cord? What if there's a the short in the plane when he pulls up there and stops and gets him a little cheese? <laughs> Just drone it up there. It I is. guess a drone is a drone. I ain't getting on one of those though. Well, yeah, but you only get like twelve minutes of flight time. Hey, I seen one down. toting a fifty pound bag or something loading in his truck. It was some seed or something. A drone it was? was? Yes, yeah, this guy was working out in the field in his truck, and his drone was coming across it. And he caught the bag, unloaded it. I don't know how many times it done that. I got to figure out where Galvin's internet is, because he yeah. finds stuff I ain't well, heard He's about. following different Twitter pages. Well, no, look, no, I, 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 my wife must do the same thing he does, because, you know, we're into treasure hunting, me, Jason, Murray, and Jep. So, okay, my wife the other day said, oh, by the way, did you hear? And I said, hear what? He said somebody who was treasure hunting found fifty million dollars in Confederate gold. Well, I talked to Murray and like Murray's on top of this stuff. Yeah. Murray said, No, that didn't happen. And I said, Hey, look, I'm just telling you what my wife told me. She read it somewhere on Confederate something. Confederate gold. Yeah. 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 Fifty million. And then the government moved in and guess what? what? They, I don't know if they gave him a finder's fee or not, but hey, they took all the gold. Well, oh, yeah. Classic government. What do you mean, yeah? It was lost. If That's I find it, hey, I know one thing. If I find fifty million, uh, uh-uh. ain't you know I'll what these the modern bit times off is? Go into the half. How much you to have that nugget? How much is it worth? If you find fifty million, can I get like a hundred grand? Yeah, sure you can. Okay. Yeah. Hey, I ain't See, I ain't even gonna be greedy. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, That's I ain't, all. Hey, fifty like, million yeah. dollars. Yeah, you fifty can. million in in gold bars. That's you, what that you and Jace are looking for. Yeah. And I'm finding out it won't do us any good if we find it, unless we keep it on the under the radar. Well, you buddy, we, your secret is safe with here's me. A, yeah, you just right. spread it out right. to the rest yeah. of us. I like yeah. it. I like yeah. it. So far, I won't tell nobody. Well, buddy, no, no, buddy no, I'll no, sign no. an agreement I, right I, now. Yeah, I'm not greedy, okay? Yeah. 50 million? 50 no. million, 50 hey, million. I don't want but a little bit. Yeah. I and know. if I don't get a little bit, I will sing like a canary, baby. <laughs> Remember that story you told about bailing on Jace? Oh, yeah. I'm 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 warming up to pipe, so <laughs> you wanna talk hey, about tweeting. No, no, I'd be tweet tweeting, son. <laughs> tweet. Tweet tweet. Hey, that used to be a song. Tweety tweet. Something like that. Rock and yeah. Robin. Yeah, Rock and Robin. Bum, tweet bum. tweet. Little oh Lord. Well let's I take another break. I'm finding out about my friend here. Yeah. They'll bail in a heartbeat when it gets down to it. Hey, boys. look, we're all famous <laughs> for being known as we can't be bought. That's right. Hey. But we can darn sure be rented. Rented. That's right. That's right. Hey. There you hey. go. We'll be hey. back. So here comes a commercial. <laughs> Johnny D, I'm noticing a severe lack of movement about you today. It's because I look so good in these sunglasses. Where are they from? Movement. Which causes me to stare into the camera beautifully. See? And you no. know what? 
Our friends over at Movement, I guarantee you, when they were in Southern California in their apartment and they designed this stuff, they were like, we're going to make people stop. <laughs> so we're going to name it Movement. Boom! It's there like the go. ultimate, like, what's what's the word? Uh, oxymoron. Oxymoron. Because people say, whoa, that man looks good in those sunglasses. And they stop, but you keep moving. See, that's the cool thing about it. Look. Our friends over at Movement have expanded into blue light glasses, minimalist jewelry, and more style essentials that don't break the bank, all designed out of their California headquarters. And look, now y'all are the first to know that Movement is having a huge site-wide sale for Mother's Day. Their prices are slashed up to 40% from April 21st to May 6th to make sure you can get the perfect gift for mom, from beautiful watches to fine 18 karat jewelry. Mm. Si, how long you been wearing that watch? I couldn't tell you. And she's still ticking, right? That's right. Hey, keep perfect time. Still ticking, Never still doing good. Never beat, boys. Johnny D, glasses all the time. My wife actually took my blue light glasses uh -oh. so that it don't hurt her eyes whenever she's looking at the computer because, you know, she's on that baby registry bag hard now. Uh -oh. So, look, you can get quality modern watches for a fair price, super durable sunglasses with UV-rated polarized lenses and timeless styles. Their premium blue light glasses will not only make you look great but filter 90% of the most intense blue light rays from your digital screens so you can scroll comfortably. They are the perfect gift for family and friends. Right now, you shop up to 40% off for Mother's Day and save big on the perfect gift for mom. Join the movement by going to mvmt.com slash duck and enjoy up to 40% off. Again, that's mvmt.com slash duck. Si, have you ever played Wordle? No. Why not? Wordle? I love Wordle. So Wordle is a game. It's a, it's a word game of five letter words you get six guesses to get it right and if you get the letter in the right place it goes green if you get the right letter but it's in the wrong place it's yellow What's it and if like? it's wrong there's nothing or it's gray or something i don't know but but you get what's it look answers. like why i'll show you there we go so i said pick a five letter word johnny d you type it in hey hold on what's your well i want to know martin's probably really good at this game what's your max streak 47 Okay, we're not going to talk about mine. Jesus. Why? 18. Oh, yeah. Jesus, I think, is a name that probably won't work. Why is that? That's not going to recognize it as a wolf. Oh, it does work. Oh, no, yeah. It worked. Hey, the answer. Right. They, hey, moral of the story, people. Even when you think he's not the answer, he is. If he's on Wordle, he real. He's the right answer to everything. All right, so the E's in the right spot. And now we know that there is an S involved. But see, what you don't want to do, so go, and I'm just going to give you a little tip here. All right. Don't start with double letters because you just, you kind of, you, you try and process of elimination. You ain't got but six chances. Here. I do mouth, spare, cling, first three every time. I've gotten it right on the first one like three times. What? I just use so, the same word until it's the word, and then I find another one. So you go down like, now? I don't like oh, hey, My now, new starter is train. But no, no. So mm -hmm. now we're starting down the E. No, not E. Now you another five letter word. You know E is the second E's letter. E's the second letter. S is in it. J U a uh, second S is not no it. No longer oh, in. No, it. no, it's just a it's over. So he said oh, it's over. So it's not a crossword puzzle. It's over. It's basically head. a crossword. Yeah, the sad thing is I've already played today and I don't even remember the word. <laughs> I do. Do you? Uh, yeah, I got that one. So I need to Oh say yeah, I a do. name a I word remember. with E. Yeah, it's the second letter. So like E no. No, oh, that's too many. Ah. That's one's too many. <laughs> this is that's too many, many letters. Just, that's too many. What oh, about like, oh, uh, I'm trying to do it without giving it away. Hey, Bert. Who? Elam. Elam. Heart okay, would be is, a good is, one. Heart is, would yeah, be a good one. There you one. go, heart. Try heart. I thought oh, wow, to, I'm a genius. Oh, oh. oh. I thought you had to start with E. So, no, oh, the second letter is second letter is All the green is good, right? Yeah. The green are good, and you know there's an S in it. Okay. Yeah, so now you only have to change the middle letter. How do we know there's an S in it? Because it's yellow. So I told you. <laughs> I told you before we got here, this would not be his jam. So Come on, you, man. H-E blank S-T is what you're seeing what? from that. What? Time. What? What? Nope, that's wrong. Uh, <laughs> five letters. That ain't before. Si, the, right. si, the word is H E blank oh, H -E S T. Blank. That's what we know from what we're looking at. So what what letter? I can't believe you can't figure this out. No, I tell you, I'm not analytical. 
I see that right now. So, say that. Again. I can't believe you can't. Wait, what's the word? Just tell me what the word is. H e blank s t. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm brain dead when it comes to this kind of junk. He's a math man. He's no, English wasn't his strong suit. I know a lot of people steal stuff, you know, all the time. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just that? Oh. Oh, okay. Got oh, okay. Okay. I Godwin it. got it. Godwin knows Godwin it. Godwin got it. Mark, uh, okay. Si. Steal. That's what she's... Okay, yeah, it's steal. Okay. Nope. Not steak nope. either. I meant to type steal. <laughs> all right, it's not that one either. Okay, but but what if it? Uh, what if it were that? What? Yeah. What if? Should it I try were that side? Iced. Uh, oh, we got it. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, okay, this could be a new thing. Right. Wordle with sigh. Wordle with sigh. <laughs> this would not hold my attention because hey, it's a waste. Of okay. Time. No, I thought you said for that. He second, gets it now. It takes the one word. You had to start with e. Mm -mm. No, if it's green, it's in the right spot. Yeah. If it's yellow, it's not. It's Have you wrong. ever played Quirtle? Yeah. Have you played Hurdle? What's Hurdle? It is with music. It's like name that tune. Oh, uh -oh. Cy would be a master of no, that. Oh, no, not his no, time I frame. I mean, they do no. have a lot of Al Green, but like <laughs> the other day was <laughs> no diggity. Rush on it? So hey, I watched that one night. No rush. Name that tune. Yeah. No AC and look, as many times did I have sung. Yo, pink Floyd, uh, any Pink yep. Floyd on it? Uh, Can we try Hurdle? Yeah, I don't remember what. To, oh, today's is like, I didn't even know today's. Okay, so. ready? Today's I don't know how this works, music. and we might not be able to play, play this. Producer, you play Hurdle? Uh, okay, listen, if we might not be able to use it. not going to be able to use it. We can use seven okay. seconds. Everybody, ready, set. Hit play. That's all you get? For the first one. Then you hit like skip, skip, skip. You get like. Well, that's seconds. obviously Led Zeppelin's before. greatest hit, Chairs. I've I'd... never even heard of this song. So it's. I heard. I know it. but I, I, I don't know that I've one. I heard it. Goblin says I, I know it. Well, I don't know it, but I've heard it. Buddy, I ain't got a clue. I have no I, idea. I, I played it this morning. I don't remember. Brittany is really good at this game. Like, shockingly good at this I game. have no idea. I don't like this no, game. No, that's what amazed me. I watched this one night. You were talking about Name That Tune? And as many times I've sang ZZ Top's Sharp Dressed Man. Yeah. I've never no heard idea. that song in my life. No idea. I have no idea what this yeah. is. See, Boo! That's what I'm talking about. Boo that game. I got Willie on it. Well, Willie well, plays it. It was something I've never... Yeah, that's uh, what. That's yeah, the that's problem, problem with, with music. I know all the words, or at least most yeah. of them. I'm not listening to whatever the yeah, kids are listening to. Yeah, but you got to name the tune, the name of it. Yeah. I don't know the tune. And the artist. <laughs> and the artist, yeah. <laughs> Willie's pretty good at it. Well, that's because he, he listens to kid music a lot, though. Yeah. Willie's taste in music, while sometimes it is great, other times it is very, very, like, junior high girlish. <laughs> I'm just saying it. Like it's he was like, a big Millie Vanilli. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like it's all of a sudden I'm like, is Bella in the car? Why are we listening to One Direction? I didn't. I didn't ever understand why he liked that stuff so much. Yeah. He said he's cultural. But hey, yeah. thinking about that. What? Think about it. Yo, know, you said your wife was very good at it. Mm-hmm. I wonder why. She's good at music stuff. Well, no, no. I'm wondering why. Because it's that, a long drive there's from a lot here of to Nashville. That are, are, cause like I always look at. It, I, I use a guitar. Playing a guitar. Think about a guy that would listen to an eight-minute song. Eight minutes. Okay. He don't read music. He don't know that. Those people yeah, that can play can hear, by memory. He can hear that eight-minute song. And just rip it. And then rip it on that guitar. Yeah, my mom's nope. that way. Nope. Is she? Nope. Not with a guitar, with a piano. Yeah. Really? She can hear it one time, and she can play it by ear. I did not know that about your mother. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I did not get that. Me neither. Oh, no, no. That, but my mother that, it didn't either. that's genetic. It ain't in this oh, code. Oh, no, no, no. That's not genetic. You have that's to, a gift from you the, had to the play big man upstairs. Yeah. Okay. Remember when you brought a trumpet? trumpet yeah, I could do it with a trumpet. You used to. That was one of the greatest I'd episodes. Play, I'd have to play it for a while. We now. ever had. When Godwin came in playing When the Saints Go Marching. That's what Cy si wanted to hear. Oh, no, no, no. Because, hey, look. Anything musical. He's I'm in. Not, it, it, it's magic. No, no, hey. It I really know, is. Magic. In my humble opinion. You know what else is magic? What? what? These breaks that keep appearing. Well, they we'll keep appearing. After this! Hey. 
I just want to know the person that sits there and designs a crossword. They got a lot of. They had him on TV the other day. What? <laughs> yeah. No, no, I'm serious. They had that guy on TV the other day. No, they did he, not. I'm telling you. <laughs> on the local news? They had him on TV no. somewhere the other day because he said, okay, here's what I do for a living. He ma- it you showed what? him. It showed him. He's he's doing crossword puzzles. So then you had to put all those words together. Yeah. And then you had to write the clues for them. So what come first, the word or the clue? Blue. I think it was on, probably on PBS. Blue come first. Was it Will Shorts? I don't know. It was some guy. I was hoping his name is Mr. Cross or Mr. Word. Is he man? doing crossword? Will puzzles. Shorts. That's the other name, the Puzzle Master. Hey. The Puzzle Master. Wait, there's, there's one guy that does this? Yeah. He's been doing it 100 he, years. Yeah. And he ain't, there, he ain't that old. I figured it'd be an old dude. Well, who done them for like him? He's 45. He's your age. He's my age. Give or take. I wish I looked that good. <laughs> good <laughs> that boy. Mr. Shorts, if you're listening, hey, I bravo. I don't know I if we're recording or not, but that line right 70. there is solid gold. <laughs> Hey. I wish I looked that good. No, well, hold on. <laughs> that picture is from 11 years ago, though. So uh, I didn't. Say it, I, I didn't think. look that good 11 years. I ago. I would put him 45. Here's a sign aged in the last 15 years. <laughs> He's looked hey. that way since I've known. Hey. Well, I mean, it may have got a little lighter. What gray. was you talking about? How? Crazy, crazy don't crazy change. don't age well. That's right. It don't change. It don't <laughs> age. Period. So the guy who apparently is the puzzle master. I just got to know. Also plays a lot of ping pong. That makes That's sense. what I'd have thought. This man is the most interesting person. Mm-hmm. He was on, he, I'm telling you, he was on television, and it showed him in his house, and he had a big <laughs> blank tablet, and he was, you know, talking, okay. Making yeah. crosswords. Could you oh, imagine? Well, who done them before he did? I would love. I have no idea. I think he invented them. To be yeah. a fly on the wall and watching Cy. Watch a documentary on crossword puzzles. Yeah. Because I bet you were sitting there saying, Oh, no, no, no. It was really, it like, was really can, interesting. Yeah. It really was. He like didn't said, invent them. Because it, it went back. You know, it was telling how it started and all this. So I'm looking at this. You know, I'm saying, Good grief. Because, hey, that's what, that's what happened at the breakfast table every morning. Yeah. Mom and dad is doing the crossword puzzle. And they say, oh, that's a re- that's a rerun. And We've done that. When I was a, ago. Can you when, believe that? What? Did you hear what he just said? What? They sat there at the breakfast table with the crossword no. newspaper. Yeah. And now they tell us to put our phones down when we eat. Thank you. <laughs> uh oh. That's we funny. We quit preaching and got to meddling. Here. Ooh, you used to have books and papers, didn't you? Hey, I will say, when I was a kid and eating breakfast before school, I got the little section. Of the newspaper that had the jumble it. Now, crossword, I didn't know half them words. I was a kid. No, I like to call But that it jumble, things. I could figure out. And I sit there and do that every morning before. That's where you, they got oh, yeah. the, the words jumbled, and then it you was, write in, it's got letters circled, and then you take those uh, and make the answer to the bottom. Yeah, I just a bunch went, of monkeys hey, over here's one I'm yeah. good at. I, I always what, loved it. I don't know what it's called. They got a, a square, okay, and they got all these letters, and you got to pick out, they've got words. Oh, he's a word search guy. All over. Oh, yeah. Uh, he likes yeah, well, word I, search. I just don't. There's five. Okay, there's another one. There's one here. Yep, 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 yep. I vaguely you know why that is. That's because we look through them thickets all the time for critters. Well, That's it might be. So good they, just, they just jump out at me. Okay, they really do. But. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. oh! <laughs> but, hey, since you brought that up. Institution. Look. He just sees a word that scares him. you've never deer hunted in your life. What? Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. For those that are just now starting to hunt, you have walked by so many big bucks. Oh, yeah. If if you knew, you would not believe it. And that Okay, because if you don't know what you're looking for, you will not see them. And, hey, (laughs) this is something that is half white. You got to to omit the woods. Yeah. You got to, yeah. They're standing in plain view, but you can't see them. Mm-hmm. It's the old deal about you can't see the trees for the forest. That's exactly right. Newspapers, man. Wait. And I've I never. Thought it was you couldn't see the forest for the trees. Well, hey, whatever. I probably <laughs> said that. <laughs> well, you know. I've been looking at these woods wrong my whole oh, life. No, 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 here's another, here's another one for you. Down the road and see a deer standing out there. 
No, no. Way out in the woods, because you omit the trees, you don't see them. That's right. You just see the deer. No. Right. You ain't never done that? Mm-mm. <laughs> Not way out in the woods. I'm generally looking for peril where they could jump out in front of Hey, here's of another thing. I don't look way out while Two I'm driving. Them. Two of them. A deer mm-hmm. walking in water does not Three cause any ripples. Nine. What? When he's sneaky, he does not cause any ripples. Can't hear him. And no, no, no. Was the other, that was the other one. The leaves have fell off the trees, and, and they're foot deep. Mm. I sound like a herd of elephants go to my tree stand. Lock it on and climb up the tree and sit there. And the next thing, I'm sitting there for 45 minutes and hadn't heard a sound. And then something catches my eye right below me. And there's a big old old doe, probably weighs 200 pounds, standing under me. And I'm going, how in the world did that that deer get under me without me hearing any leaves crackling? Is that the deer that coughed because of the cigarette smoke? No, I was in Germany. And it was a button hey, head. Secondhand smoke is bad for you. Mm. A deer taught me that. Okay, because oh, yeah. I had a little cigarette, blew the smoke out, and about that time, the wind <laughs> built up, and it did one of these deals. It come in the window and then went, immediately went down. And I heard. <coughs> Yo, and I thought, look, I thought it was the guy that had dropped me off. Yo, and I said, what do you want? And I looked and there was a buck there. Yo. I don't care how many times I hear that story. It makes oh, no. me laugh. Well, no, I can that's confirm true. secondhand smoke is hey, bad. It's right. the first I time I ever me. took side duck hunting. Hey, he got uh, in my truck with the windows up and fired hey. one up. <laughs> and I was like. So he looking at me. <laughs> okay. You should have just slapped the fire out of me. Well, I'll let you have that one. When well, you went no, to like no, that second one, I said, yeah, you hey, we crack that, that window. Right. <laughs> I wouldn't, hey, if you'd have slapped me and said, hey, look, I don't want you smoking in my truck. I was, just, I'm I, I was getting to go duck up with Cy <laughs> Roberts. You think I cared? <laughs> now, that second one, though, I couldn't take it. I was like, man, you crack that window a little <laughs> bit. Uh, hey, I mean, that's I'm why, fine. Yeah, I, and that's I, why he's so when good. When he said at, it, I just said, oh, I'm sorry. He threw the whole thing. Yeah, he did. He threw the whole thing out waited until we got to the store. I'm sorry. I said that it was just reef. I didn't even think. It, but it didn't. I was like, you yeah. just crack it. We yeah. fine, you should have just slapped the fire out of me. That's <laughs> hey, I grew up with my grandfather at deer oh. camp. He wake up two o'clock in the morning, take a puff off his pipe, go back to sleep. <laughs> He's sitting there on the side of the bed, son. So I was used to it. It just and them closed in spaces get a little rough if you ain't the one doing it. No, like, that was that was when I I come amazing. in from the, from the military when uh, Kay bought that place down there for her and Phil and it had an extra house and mom and dad moved in and they grew up playing Jace grew up playing dominoes at mama's house you know I'd walk in there come in from leave and I'm, I'm serious it looked like they had opened the door and another cloud come in <laughs> <laughs> and a big one okay on the inside oh no yeah let it all in you know because hey it was just, just hovering there two inches above their head it was just you know they said they're Give it then. Yeah, playing you know, dominoes. Playing oh, yeah. dominoes, and Daddy's got four or five cigarettes smoking in the ashtray. <laughs> you know, he'd take a uh, take a drag off one, put it, then light oh. another. You know, half oh. of it burned down. If you know, he doesn't lit another one. <laughs> I'm oh, I'm shocked that none of us has got cancer. Yeah, yeah. Because we grew, they grew up. Jason and Al and all them grew up in a pool hall. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma and Grandpa's house. And how old was and hey, how old was Granny? Hey, well, uh, she died when she was ninety four. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That thing's bad for you, son. Well, uh, hey, well, it finally got her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, if she'd have, if she'd have just read yeah, them morning, hey, she may would have made it to ninety five. Uh, <laughs> if she hadn't smoked, she'd probably made them, you know, lived to be a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, goodness me. gracious. Unbelievable. Oh. 94, finally got her. <laughs> Unreal. I don't even know where we go from here. No, no, that's, that's one of the most amazing thing, and that's uh, one thing that, hey, there is a God in heaven, okay? You know, because, you know, the stuff my mother went through in her lifetime, no, nah, ain't no way. <laughs> He yeah. said no. Yeah, you ain't no boy, way. Ain't no way boy. Yeah, if they ain't a supreme being, you couldn't live through that kind of junk. Yeah. And then to end it on the price yeah. is right. Yeah. Golly. Oh, no. <laughs> at, the at the young age of 84, she won both showcases. All of it. All of it, boy. Uh, all right, well, let's take our last break. We'll be back right after this.
Hey. <laughs> Hey. Did you just do that? Yeah, I just did. Did that. you record that? Who threw that? I kicked it. Philip had it shoved down in there, yeah, and I kicked know. it out of it. But it like, just like, <laughs> I'm gonna need to see the replay, sir. Shoved down in what? Oh, there's a hole oh, right no. there. No. Oh, yeah. Do yeah. it again. Do it again. Do it again. Well, I gotta get it where you <laughs> Oh, see, I'm in. You you can't even <laughs> kick it again. You fixing to mess your shin up. <laughs> That's unbelievable. He actually I'm, kicked I'm, it and it's out of there. there. It is good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to need you to run that tape back, sir. Say when. All right, we're back. Say when. Mailbag time. Johnny D, hello at duckcallroom.com. I found out who sent the 587 packets of lemon oh, stuff. that and before. Cole lemon, from Ligonier, Lig- Lig- Indiana, I'm guessing. Indiana, Here's, boy. Thank you, Cole. Yep. And whoever was nice enough to send me the baby wipes, diapers. Oh, diapers. Did you find out who it was? Oh, well, this is a different one. Oh, that showed up today. You need that. And the sleep mask. Oh. Whoever decided to call me Two Shot. <laughs> oh. Now your name's oh. Two Shot? What yeah. was it yesterday? Big guy? Big Martin. Big Martin. And then today was it was addressed to Justin Two Shot Martin. What's that? There you go. Oh. Double barrel. Yeah. Thank you. However, thank you very like much. It. So, hey, yeah. we seen the milkman on the way back from Florida. I told God when I said we need to run that sucker down. I said we got them twins. <laughs> <laughs> the milkman, baby. Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering. I was wondering where that was going. Yeah. yeah. But what's in that mailbag, John? Right. What's in this mailbag? Oh, mail <clears throat> bag. All right. Question for everyone! Exclamation right. point. Times three. Lay it on me. Hey, duck call room. My name is Jack. I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio. It's your guy. Jack, I've been looking for you the whole life, son. There you go. It's waiting on that one. Uh, he loves podcasts. He's, we've inspired him to get closer to God. That's good. But I have something happen today at school that he had a question about. One of my friends brought up that she was not a believer in Jesus Christ. Is it okay to still hang out with her and be friends with her, even though we believe in different things? Absolutely. Absolutely. I? She's yeah, the one you need to be hanging yeah, out with. Yeah, that's yeah. the one you need to hang with. Yeah. Because, hey, you may uh, bring her around. That's right. Okay, and introduce her to the greatest man on this earth yep. that ever was. Absolutely. And he's still alive. It's not the whale who need a doctor, but the sick. That's it. There you go. And that's who Jesus actually came to see. Mm. He didn't come for the saved. He came for the unsaved. So, yes, I thought that was just an important one for yeah. our young friend Jack to know. It's okay to be friends with people. Now, you don't want to, if they're doing wrong or something, maybe not hang out with them at that moment, but you still need to be their friend, and they need to see you show them the love yeah. of Jesus, right? And, right? and a warning, don't let her lead you the other way. You be the leader. Yeah. I guess you bring her to Jesus. Don't let her take you to the other way. Be gentle. Be gentle. Yeah, be be gentle. gentle. You ain't got to beat her over the head with nothing. Show it through your life. Show it through actions. Uh, Yeah, that's what got me. Me too. Actions speaks louder than words. The actions of these clowns I was in this duck call room with. One of the coolest stories ever was, okay, we got a guy when we were doing this Duck Dynasty show. He's called the sound man, so he mics everybody up. And like, you know, he's like God. He's always listening. Okay. And hey, he got converted and was baptized because of not what he heard, but he got converted because of what he did not hear. Yep. That's exactly right. Yep. Berger. Yeah. Berger. I know who you're talking about. Yep. Berger. Yep. Berger. Yep. All right. What else we got? Here's another quick one, probably. Maybe not. Hey, my name is Luke. I'm from Owasa, Oklahoma. I play high school football, Good and I've recently Good been faced with the dilemma. I've gotten in the sport of golf and have fallen in love with it. Mm. Problem is, football takes up most of his time and summers. I'm not sure if I should quit football for golf, and if so, how am I supposed to tell my coaches? Mm. Well, here's the deal. Those two. I would coach. tell you I played football, okay, and I wasn't big enough. I shouldn't have played. Okay, but hey, you'll get hurt playing football. Now, you may pull a muscle playing golf (laughs) because Willie does it all the time. (laughs) Yeah. Okay, but anyway, okay. He ain't got to be playing. The lesser of two evils, the lesser of two evils here, okay, golf will probably be better for your body. That's that's 100%. Than football. 
because you're going to get injured playing football, okay, yeah. especially if you go to college and play it, and then you're sure enough going to get hurt if you make it to the pros. But in high school, I would – if you, I mean, I guess you probably enjoy football too. There's nothing saying you can't play both. That, yeah, that yeah. depends on your love. Uh, and you're probably young. You yeah, can if bounce you love back both of them, play point. them, dude. I'm going to guess, Luke, just I'm going off the statistics. Football at 18, it's done. You can play golf for the rest of your life. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Sai plays golf every once in a while. Yeah. And it's funny. No, I, I attempt to play golf. Okay. But, you know, but I would say if you, if you love something, do that. If you don't like, I I quit football in junior high because I was miserable because I was yeah. tiny, and, but I wish I would have played longer because I got bigger right after I quit. Yeah. <laughs> um, but do what you love. But I think you got time to do both. Yeah, I do. And, and we don't know how good you are either. Yeah, looking you back could, on it, I was a kid in high school. I quit playing baseball because I was like, man, this is all taking up too much time. Like. That's most time you ever got in your life, son. If oh, you yeah, think yeah. you ain't got no time right now, huh. yeah, just that's wait, great, buddy. Yeah, just wait. Point. You got all the time you can stand right now. Trust me. So, well, and take a good look in the mirror. If you're good enough to do either of those at the next level, yeah, and be honest with yourself. Yeah, I wasn't good enough to do anything really at the next level. Me if neither. you are, you might want to focus on that one. Yeah. All right, y'all want to get heavy? Yeah, let's go. Go for it. What is buzzing around here? Somebody, Something's buzzing. Si, si, turn phone your phone right. off. All I don't right. have a phone. Courtney from Kentucky. Uh, this one's a heavy my one. Daughter. And it's <laughs> Godwin's daughter. Godwin's daughter. Godwin said, my daughter. <laughs> All right. Well, this one's from Courtney. Um, so it's heavy. Just I'm leading in with that. She's from Kentucky. She, yesterday, she watched her grandfather take his last breath. He was a great man of God, the best she ever knew. She's struggling to sleep. And this is. Super recent, and that's okay to struggle to sleep right now because she doesn't want to dream about it. She doesn't want to relive those moments over again. She, she says she's not fearful of death, but maybe I am. She's got anxiety. Any advice would be appreciated. Thanks. I'll start this off. <clears throat> Darling, how long? I, I, my question to you is, how long did you have your grandfather with you? Okay, because I, I didn't get to know either one of mine. And that has always ticked me off to the oh, you don't you just you don't understand. So my deal is, hey, I tell I tell people all the time, if you'd asked me as a young man, because me and my mother was just tight, okay, very very close, you know, if you'd asked me, what are you gonna do when mom dies, you know, and I never thought I would give you the answer I'm fixing to give you. Hey, here's the good thing: I know where she went. Okay, I know who she's with, okay, and everything she's experiencing up there is the good stuff. Okay, so that's where your grandfather is at there, young lady. Okay, so hey, you can feel bad for yourself. You have no reason to feel bad for Grandpa. Okay, Absolutely. he's done his time on this planet. And he's in, in, in heaven right now with the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. That's my personal belief that I believe in with all my heart. Okay? And if he you had him for 20 years, hey, you're ahead in the deal. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I got, I mean, from her description of him, it sounds like there's no question in where he went. Like, there's no no wonder did, did Papa make it. Yeah. You know, from the sounds of it, you know Papa made it. That's right. So be sad. Grieve however you're going to grieve. There's no right way to grieve. There's no wrong way to grieve. And, and it's, it's okay to be. It, this absolutely. is super recent. Absolutely. So I literally, when I, when I read this email, I went and read a story in the Bible that I just, about Lazarus, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jesus knew that Lazarus died before anybody told him. Mm -hmm. And then they said, then they were literally upset. If you were, they told Jesus, if you were here, he wouldn't be dead right now. And then you know what he did? He wept. Yeah. So, and and he knew he was about to write. He knew for a fact he was like, this is about to be really cool. But he was sad. And I think in that verse, Jesus wept. He was weeping because he he knew his friends were sad. No, no, that's, right. mm -hmm. that's exactly why he cried. He cried yeah. for us. Okay, he was crying for. For Lazarus' friends, and so Corey, yeah. I just want you to know and for all of humanity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Because he because he saw he saw people he loved and got to know, 
and he saw the sting that is death. And it yeah. I it still stings because you're gonna miss him. You're gonna live you're gonna have to live your life without him now and it stings. But exactly what Sai si always says, it is just a change of address. So we do have that hope. But I it's okay to to be sad right now. It's okay to you know, you're gonna have a little anxiety. Yeah. That's that's totally feel natural. All the things. F- and hey, feel, feel them all, all and them. tell people how hey, you feel. Hey, my other charge to you is live your life just like Grandpa did. Amen. That way, hey, one of these days you'll see him and be with him again. Yeah, and but, you won't have to fear death. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. I mean, hey, it sucks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It sucks hard, but not for them, for you. Yeah. It don't suck for them. They win. And so will we eventually. Eventually. Yeah. So we just got you know. some time to spend without them. Yeah. But one day, Courtney, we're going to hang out with you in heaven. Ain't that the truth? Yeah, sure will. Ain't a game more than inside. And not a game more than inside. <laughs> All right. Well, All right. That's it. I got two Bible verses to leave us out with. And Go ahead. One's really short. Jesus wept. John eleven thirty five. Jesus wept. He was human and he did have emotions. And then the other one's for our first friend that emailed in. Luke nineteen ten. For the Son of Man came to seek and save the lost. If you're sitting around and everybody you know is a Christian, that might be a problem. Go get uncomfortable. Because Jesus said, go into all the world and make disciples. A little great commission for you. See y'all next week. <laughs>